Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful week and I know I did, except for the fact that it's hotter than 40 hills, which would not be the problem uh, for these sauces right here that I have the pleasure of being able to introduce and talk to you about today. So if you've gone to my blog, www.livingandreal.com, you'll find more backstory on these new sauce makers on the scene called Maestro's. Um, Maestro stands out a little bit from the rest of the crowd, which I think is awesome. Um, they have a, a flavor first, heat second type of approach to their sauces. Um, and considering that I am completely over being hot already and it's not even fully summer yet. It's, I don't even think we're in summer yet. I think it's just swelteringly, horribly hot. And while I may like my sauces to be this way, I do not like my weather to be this way, and it sucks. So, anyway, I think that today and this time of year would be the perfect time to sample these delicious sauces and take a gander at this, guys. The thing that drew me to Maestro's immediately were these colors. Look at the color of their sauces. While so many saucers out there are trying to make the hottest sauce they possibly can, Maestro's wants to, to make the best tasting sauce they possibly can. And I'm really excited and really intrigued to give these guys a shot. Um, right here, we have Curry Fury. And let's see, Roasted Ghosted Garlic. I think it's got ghost pepper in it, so that's probably gonna have a bit of a kick to it. And then Mo Honey Mo Poblanos. Now, if you go to their website, um, it's maestrosauceco.com. Uh, you'll be able to find their other flavors, but this is what I was able to get uh, sent to me just recently. So I'm really excited. I've been holding off on trying them because I've just been looking forward to it too so, so much. It's kind of like, like Christmas. Like I don't want the excitement to go. Whew. Lord, is that. I don't want the excitement to end, but it has to. So uh, I don't know which one I'm going to pick and I'm just going to close my eyes and move them around and whichever one I grab is going to be the one that we sample and it's going to be this one right here. Mo honey, mo poblanas. All right, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. So I've got to get the wrapper off first, which I struggle with. I'm not, I'm not even going to try and make excuses anymore. Just get off there. Thank you. All right. Now, this says a Mexican inspired sweet and mild sauce made with a blend of clover honey Fire Roasted Poblanos. This sauce offers the perfect union of sweet and spicy. Jalapenos, Serranos, and a blend of spices make this the perfect sauce for every taco night, but don't hesitate to try it on any dish. Shake well before use. Separation is normal. Refrigerate after opening. The ingredients here. Check this out, y'all. Okay. Apple cider vinegar, poblanos, lime juice, honey, Onion, serrano, jalapenos, canola oil, cilantro, spices, garlic, sugar. That sounds incredible. <laughs> I'm freaking stoked. Okay, I'm not going to hold off on it anymore. I can't hold off on it anymore. It smells good. I can smell the serranos right away. Uh, it has a little bit more of a kick than I was expecting. Scent-wise, anyway. But I can smell the herbs and the spices in it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so good. My mouth is already watering. And smell the cilantro and the lime. Ooh, it makes me want to do little dances. Okay. Pour. Very even, very smooth. Ooh, very thick. Oh, I'm so excited. This is a flavor profile. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sweet out the gate, fresh as can be. I can definitely taste the honey, the serrano, then there's a little bit of spice and heat on the back end, but not too much and not for too long. This is amazing. And unlike anything else I've ever had before, this would really go great with any dish, especially a Mexican dish, I feel like. That would definitely be good for like Mexican taco night. I mean, cause you know, they don't do like Italian taco night or country taco night. So really it would just have to be Mexican taco night. I still taste the honey on my lips. Oh, this took my mind off how horribly hot it is here today. Yeah, very good, very sweet, not too much. Definitely a gourmet sauce. That's exactly how I would describe these. Mm. That's crazy. 
I've never had anything like it. Immediately, the first thing, it's sweet. And then it's the garden. You can taste the serrano, the spices, and then it starts getting a little heated right here on your tongue, just a little bit. And then I can taste the lime juice. I can taste everything. I know there are so many sauces out there that tout to have a ton of ingredients, but they can't all necessarily be tasted. This is just a perfect mixture. They did a wonderful job. So if you're interested in purchasing, check out maestrosauceco.com um, or you can check me out on my website, hit me up. Uh, if you've enjoyed this review, if you're interested in the other two reviews, um, just hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell button. Um, check out my website, www.livingandreal.com. If you yourself have a hot sauce uh, that you love or that you make that you would like to have reviewed, please, by all means, let me know. I would love to give it a shot, even if it's hotter than 40 hells and it is also same here in South Carolina. I would be happy to sample your sauce. That was really great. Maestro's well done. Very much looking forward to sampling these too, especially this guy as I'm a big curry fan. But yeah, very delicious. Knock out of the park. Really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> you want to try some sauce? No. Why? God, no. But it's sweet sauce. No. Are you sure? No. I don't know what happened with this one, guys. She's just not a If it's not covered in Cheeto dust or Dorito dust, <laughs> she just doesn't like it. No, I mean, like, well, my dad has been sneaking hot sauce into my food, but <laughs> after, after the other one, no. Just no. Do you want to smell it? Um, you want to smell it? Yeah. All right. A little bit too tiny here. A little. I wasn't prepared. A little snifferoo? Well, it's pepper sauce. That's no, one that's of the main ingredients. That's why it has a pepper on the <laughs> So, again, if you like this review, please subscribe, like, and if you have a sauce that you'd like for us to sample, let us know. I got a friend of mine that's uh, trying to talk me into the Mad Dog 357, so... It's hot. It's hot enough here as it is. Might as well be internally sweltering, sweltering as well. Regardless, thank y'all. God bless. You take care now you're here and check back with me tomorrow as we continue to sample Maestro's. Thank you. Bye.